All right, uh, welcome back. Um, doing a hobby video today. Uh, back doing some historical stuff. I know I've been doing a lot of Warhammer 40,000. Um, and I know some of you that are subscribed are more historical gamers. Um, so i am uh, been taking a look at some uh, historical stuff I still need to do. Um, but like I said, I haven't been super motivated just because not much historical gaming in my area. Um, but I thought I would work on this squad of Hungarians I bought at a convention uh, many months ago. It was back in February, beginning of February, I think. Anyway, um, they're uh, Hungarian paratroops for bolt action. Um, and I uh, painted these guys. Um, a while back, um, but I didn't, that's before I got washes, um, so I just did everybody, gave everybody a coat of wash, and I'm going to finish the rest of the squad. So these are metal miniatures, they're really nice, I like them, uh, and, um, so I had a little trouble trying to find good, um, color pictures or plates of the Hungarian World War II uniforms. So I used this army painter, uh, German army camo green, um, for the regular tunic and trousers, black boots. Um, but then the camo smocks, which are really cool in real life, uh, I tried to replicate the pattern, um, which is like this dark green with some lighter greens and, um, some like light, very light brown. Um, it's really hard to find uh, good information in English on uh, Hungary in World War II, but um, there is a book I was able to find a copy of online through uh, this ebook service, Scribd, which is really good. I, it's actually really worth the um, subscription uh, called Magyar Warriors. And I forget the author's names, but if you look up Magyar, Warriors, it should come up, um, and so they've got, um, a few different sculpts in this unit, a uh, pretty good variety, um, he's got the Panzer Shrek, um, and this is an assault squad, so you've got, this is a submachine gun, um, and then you've got the guys with uh, rifles, so, and in World War II, the Hungarians had their own firearms and uh, uniforms and stuff. They didn't really borrow too, too much from the Germans, um, and they had their submachine gunner, and we've got another, and there's a good mix, too, of, um, you know, guys with the smocks versus, um, the uh, ones just like the regular uniforms. So gave the the old, and then this is gave the old. Um, the guy's already done. Just some mole oil to make the color, make it details pop out a little bit more. Let's see if that'll fo this will focus. Uh, and then this is the NCO. Uh, it's got a, like a map case and a pistol. Uh, kind of interesting, the Hungarians in World War II, uh, the Germans were afraid to commit them to Operation Barbarossa because the Hungarians uh, wanted uh, land back after the Treaty of Trianon, um, after World War I. Um, so they were in the Carpathian Campaign earlier in the war, um, and then they were in the, and then they fought during the Soviet invasion of um, Hungary in... I believe that was 1944, 45, uh, 44, I think. Um, so, yeah, they kind of fought, didn't really see much action, but I think there was a Hungarian uh, volunteer division of the Waffen-SS, I believe. Uh, this is the guy I just finished. Um, so, I... Uh, Did the base, painted the base. I'll get the flock on there. Um, and uh, put the uh, 
put the linoleum oil on and um, they paint pretty quickly. Um, or maybe that just might be my skills improving. Um, but yeah, and then I've still got these two guys left. Um, so they'll look really nice. Um, the one thing I isn't so hot about this box set, it's a, it, it, so it comes in a small box. If you're familiar with bolt action middle miniatures, it's like the support group size box. Um, and it's the paratroop assault squad, I believe is what it's called. Um, but I don't like how they've got like the, you're supposed to glue the machine gunner like to this guy's kind of like back. Um, yeah, so uh, as you can see, I didn't really pose it the best way. Um, put him on, mounted him to this long base. Um, I mean, not a huge deal. Um, but anyway, um, and, uh, I think, um, eventually I probably would like to expand this collection a little bit more. Um, probably wouldn't be too big, just maybe a few squads, um, you know, a couple more squads, uh, and, um, you know, make a little Hungarian force, um, because it's kind of a unique, um, you know, just not something you hear too much about in World War II history, and, uh, history in general with Hungary. They're kind of, uh, forgotten, uh, mostly because of the language barrier, but, um, interesting country and, and culture. Um, and, um, yeah, so that's what I've got. That's this little update. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, and in terms of other stuff I'm working on, um, the, uh, Alpha Legion for 40k is pretty much there. Um, I might get another, like, Rhino at some point, or a Land Raider, but it's not a huge, like, emergency. Um, finish some Terminators, uh, the Terminator squad I reviewed in the last video. Um, and I also did this guy today. Um, just kind of a quick paint job. Um, just because I wanted to kind of get him done. Um, it doesn't really look that Alpha Legion y. Uh, yeah, and I talked about my issues with this model in the last video. Um, I'll probably put some flock on his base, but anyway. And then I've also got some Marines for Horus Heresy, so I'll do that in a separate video. Um, got these off eBay, so uh, yeah, they're gonna have to strip the red off these guys. Um, and uh, I'm trying to figure out what color scheme to use on the Alpha Legion, but I think both of these are too dark and I'm trying to get it to look like um, Book 3 uh, Crusade um, Alpha Legion. Anyway, that's uh, different stuff. Um, hope you guys like this little quick, well, eight minutes, this uh, video. Uh, and uh, Hoping to get some uh, bolt action going at my local one of my local shops, um, and uh, bring my British Airborne out and British regulars out. Haven't played that in, two, in a while. Um, anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you in the next video.